Today, I am sharing some of the newest spring items I am seeing out at my Dollar Tree, how I'm going to be putting these to good use. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, it makes you are subscribed, and let's jump on into it. One of my first and favorite places to look is in the wall art section or where they have these Dollar Tree canvases. It's just the perfect and easiest way to add those perfect pops of color and decor pieces on a budget, but also like the easiest. You're not having to do a lot of painting. You can dress these up and make them look a little bit more high end. So many different ways. I love this print. I feel like the vases or the containers, the little flowers were in were so gorgeous. It's not really like too farmhouse. It has more of like those spring colors and I just loved it so much, but it is a little bit flimsy so I wanted to put it on a bigger sign and dress it up a little bit more. So I am using out of the Dollar Tree Plus section one of these three dollar bigger wooden boards. I feel like it is so worth it to elevate this piece of artwork and then I didn't want to paint it. I wanted to add in some extra texture just to make it look a little bit nicer so I found actually in the Crafter Square this like beige color fabric so I'm mod podging it down in the back and yes I add a ton because I want it to have that hard effect after it dries. I'm cutting away any of the extra Excess, and then I'm just having to glue my canvas right down on top. And you can see it just makes it not only a bigger piece, but it's going to be so much more sturdy and last longer. Take up a bigger area on your shelf so it's going to look nicer. And you could hang this on the wall, sit on an entryway table or any shelving that you have. You could leave this as is. I love the natural frame look, but just to elevate this a little bit more and make it blend in, I am taking some mineral colored chalk paint, just slightly dry brushing over the edges where I cut my fabric too short. I filled that in with some of the same matching paint, but I just love this so much more and makes it look like a nicer larger piece. Okay, so I was so excited to find these huge plain signs out at Dollar Tree. So I'm grabbing one of these little garden words from the spring section. I'm not sure why these were separated, but they were in my store. Now these signs, they do have them in different options. I found some that already had words on them, but this little garden sign just caught my eye. I love how it has the little 3D pieces already on it. I'm gonna go ahead and stay with that natural look. You could paint your sign or the garden word, any anything that you would like, but I'm leaving the garden just how it is just going in and painting the little watering can and the bird just to make them pop out a little bit more but I was so excited to find that this garden word fit perfectly on this sign I just removed the jute twine hanger glued this down in place painted it the little bird you could attach a little ribbon to the top I just loved how this looked so plain added a few little dots for the watering can but how cute is this just made with a couple of bucks you guys know that I mentioned finding the artwork that I like and I found these new little magnets that I thought was perfect. So these were really, really cute. So decorative to be so tiny. So I knew I could make these kind of look the same as well, upgrading their look and making them look a little bit more high end rather than just sticking them on the fridge. So I grabbed a couple of these smallest little boxes and I'm going to glue these right on the inside and then these will be the perfect size to use on tiered trays or on shelves, but also adding in that perfect pop of spring color. While these look like they're aimed towards like maybe a kid craft or just more of like not a higher end craft with the like uh, neon green paints inside, don't overlook these because you can also dress these up for tiered trays or shelf decor. I am just removing the paints out of the middle and I will just give these to my kids. I usually have like an ongoing kid craft box that they can dig through and then painting these with some chalk paint and you can see that they're kind of like this like terracotta material so they will break if they are dropped but I'm just super careful with these paint one white and one gray and then filling them up with some florals I love these little purple flowers I'm sticking it in the white one and then for the gray one I left it a little bit more neutral so you could go as colorful or neutral that you want here but I feel like these are so adorable they have a little flower imprint on the front and I just left that as is you could paint it if you wanted to you could even paint these with like some glossy clear coat to really make them pop or give the gray one more of like a galvanized look but these will be so cute and like a spring themed tiered tray.
these little 3D pieces blew me away. I thought they were gorgeous. They had an owl, butterfly, bird, and unicorn in my store. And these are pretty as is. So I actually grabbed two sets of them. I thought it would be fun to leave one colorful set to decorate with springtime. But I also thought it would be cute to make one of them like a more like neutral set. So they looked a little bit higher end or if I wanted to get rid of some of the spring color whenever it gets more into summer. But I painted these little flowers gray as well as the beak. And I love, love, love how it turned out. I feel like this is so gorgeous with those little laser cut flowers. Okay, so when it comes to crafting, you win some and you lose some. That's how it is in my experience. Not everything's going to turn out perfect. So I had this really fun idea to actually use these really beautiful Dollar Tree transfers on some glass frames that I was going to hang, but they just did not transfer to the glass really good at all. So I struggled. So I wanted to try it on something wooden. So I lost one of the transfers, but it still come with like a pack. It was a pack of two. So I was able to use the other one on this little house. And I thought it would be cute to go ahead and make it like a spring themed house. So I transferred the word on there and then I'm using a giant popsicle stick. I made the little chimney. I thought that was really cute on the side of the house and then glued on some colorful flowers. So I feel like this really upgraded it. You could decorate this in like a preteen's room or just use it for springtime. It's super colorful and gorgeous. I loved it but I feel like the chimney just added something extra to it and I always do that when it comes to Christmas crafting too. One thing that really caught my eye when I walked into Dollar Tree were these like bigger birdhouses. They have like the little 3D laser cutouts on there and I thought these were really cute. You could spray paint these if you're worried about like the natural wood showing up behind the bird but I thought it would just make it pop a little bit extra. So taking these little houses, painting them with some mineral colored chalk paint, I paint the little roof white and then this is something that I'm just going to display. So I didn't go all out with them. I kind of wanted to paint them black for more of like a modern look but I was worried like the bird and the little cutouts wouldn't show show up very well. And they do have like a string at the top so I did push that in with a pair of my scissors and then filled the top or hole in with hot glue, painted the roof white, and let this completely dry. They have out these little succulent holders and I love these so so much. Let me share with you a really fun idea how to put these to good use. I picked up two of them, cut away all of the 3D pieces but leaving the little prongs in place and painted these gray and then I'm going to make like a really fun succulent holder. Now this is gorgeous as is. You could put, leave the wooden background and add the little succulents in there, but I feel like making this into a bigger piece is what's going to make it look a little bit more expensive and nicer hanging on the wall. You can just use this for regular wall art, but I go ahead and paint them both as the same color, let that dry, and then using a coarse piece of sandpaper, I do distress the edges just a little bit, but I love how these actually look like boards and they have the little grooves on the edges. I wanted to attach these to one single piece of rope for a nicer look so there wasn't too many knots or anything in it so I just left room at the top for this to hang and then attached it behind each board tied a little knot underneath and then kind of frayed out the little bottoms so this looks really gorgeous it has tons of texture but leaving it more of like a neutral look so you can add in any type of succulents or flowers that you want and they're really going to pop off But you can pick any color succulent that you'd like or flowers to put in here, but a fun way to display these. And these signs are back this year. It is so much fun to pick these up and make them look a little bit nicer. So I love grabbing one of the wall shelves or any wooden plank would work. You could use scrap wood that you already have on hand, but staining this board so that I can glue it behind it and just make it look once again, like a little bit of a larger piece. I feel like layering pieces together is what's going to make it look so good, but I let this stain dry, peel off the hanger of this sign, glue it on place, and then I'm going to add in like a bead hanger.
I actually used the pre-existing holes because this was a shelf to tie the little rope to the top and I actually like the look of the holes on the edges. You could have filled those in and sanded them down but I added some beads. I love pushing the beads to each side. Just gives it a little bit of extra something. You could have glued greenery up in the corner but this is a perfect sign you could set out underneath like a patio. You could attach it to a yard like a yard stake and put it in a planter or a pot but looks really cute hanging out for springtime. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these projects was your favorite, what you're most excited about for springtime. I think it's such a special time of year. There's like the magic in the air where everyone is rushing to go get plants and get things started. They're excited to get out of the house. But for this video, I feel like the birds were one of my absolute favorites. So let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.